Thanks. All right, Wayne said, I'm intrigued by the pay what you can concept. Can this be used for a service-based business like photo and video production? Okay, well, Wayne, where are you uh, zooming in from? I'm in Las Vegas. Okay, okay. Yeah, well, okay. So my experience with pay what you can is really with live workshops. Um, and so let me give the wrinkles because I've seen a few different versions of this. Um, so with a day long workshop or a weekend workshop, I can be fairly assured people will stick through the whole process and they're not just gonna leave without paying. Very rare that that happens. Uh, and I then get the payment at the end. So it's a small deposit and then they pay at the end. My colleague, Danny Inney did a version of this online with an online course. And it was, I think he asked for a $500 deposit or something. And then people could pay whatever they wanted on top of that. So that was a way of thinking like, what's the minimum I would need to feel happy? And then they could pay whatever they want on top of that. Uh, I've seen it where people do page can at the beginning and the end, they can top it up at the end if they would like to add something and people often do. It, you know, here's the thing to keep in mind. Pay what you can on one level reduces the risk for them, but on another level increases the risk. The risk is they will offend you. They're not gonna pay you enough. Like I just got photographs done, acehicks.com here in the, on the Vancouver Island. She's kind of my photographer. And at some point I actually I wanna sit and talk with her about this because she, uh, she never tells me what to, she ne has no set rates. So I'm left to just hope, I, I don't offend her grievously by how much I send her. And that's very stressful. So I think what's helpful with Page Can, however we do it, is we say, look, here's the market rate. Here's what you would pay. And I would like this to be accessible. And here's the minimum I need to make this a go. And then the, I would do an experiment. I really wouldn't commit to this as a whole business model, but you might say, you know, I've been inspired by this page you can, and I'd like to try 10 sessions. And here's the deal, you pay a minimum of this, and then at the very end, once you've gotten all the materials, if you're thrilled, you can top it up, you know, to that. But you can also, this is, I found important, for some people, pay what you can is so stressful that they don't come. It's so ironic. We think we're reducing the risk, but we've actually made it so much bigger. Mm -hmm. So when I would do my weekend workshop, I'd say you've got three options for payment. One, you can just pay me 1800 bucks for the weekend. Two, you can do a three pay of 450 or three, you can do a hundred dollar deposit and pay what you can. So almost everybody goes for that last option. When I do a day long workshop, you can pay 200 bucks, three pay of 67 or $25 deposit plus pay what you can. Almost everyone does pay what you can. Maybe 5% of people does the three pay if that, but occasionally people, I don't know, five to 10% do the full pay meaning they feel just more comfortable with that arrangement. So I think that's nice to give them the option. Like if you just want to pay me, it's this, but if you'd like to try the page, you can, you know, uh, and then I would, I would try it and then just see how it feels, see what the average amount was, because here's the upside of page can, I would say, is it makes the, the selling or marketing so much easier. There's, we don't have to, you know, schmooze and schmaltz and, and uh, make a big case for how awesome we are. It's just like, well, risk is on me. And it's also good for word of mouth because, hey, did you hear about this photography? Yes, pay what you can, you should check it out. Yeah. So there's the upside of that. And if by the end of doing 10 of them, the amount you're getting paid is not sustainable for you, then you just, you could maybe keep doing it, but you might want to up the deposit or, you can also do a sliding scale where it's a minimum of this, maximum of this, and you can decide anywhere. The key is to decide with a minimum level, like what's an amount where you just wouldn't be indignant about it. So for me, for a day long, it's like, yeah, if I get 25 bucks, it's like, at least I got something. If they pay a hundred for the weekend, it's a hundred bucks. You know, don't, don't make a difference to me if they came or not, if there was, if it wasn't sold out. So then it, it takes the bitterness out of it for me. Uh, to have the deposit. So those are some initial thoughts. How does that land? Yeah, that all sounds great. Uh, a couple follow-up questions. Um, 
Well, first of all, one of the big issues I have is, you know, I get these calls out of the blue, like how much is it? Right. And it's always like a crapshoot. It's like, okay, I'm going to roll the dice. I think this person can pay this much based on what I've heard, you know, here we go. And then either they don't respond or they say, oh no, you're way out of our budget. Like it's all over the map. So I think the pay as you go would be a good way to kind of, kind of gauge a person's budget level, you know? Yeah. And then the next uh, question would be, um, what are your best resources for learning more about this? Is it your videos or your book? I, yeah, I've got a book. The book is particularly for workshops. So it's maybe useful in a one or two rings out of the bullseye, but probably useful for general theory. I've got a series of videos about pay what you can. There's a playlist on YouTube. Yeah. Um, and the, you know, the thing I would honestly do is Google pay what you can photography, pay what you can, uh, you know, a video production. Yeah. And just see what else has been tried. And I would contact those people and ask them directly i would say hey i saw on your website or you know you had this ad at one point how did that go what did you learn would you recommend it um that kind of thing if anyone's thinking about doing page can search page can plus your industry okay see, see what's been tried yeah i also want to do workshops to bring people in to teach them how to do better photo and video with their phones so i could certainly use it for that huge huge and by the way just for everybody what, what wayne just dropped that's gold because if you let's just say somebody has a nonprofit and they say oh, we need to do a fundraising video and they say well what do you charge and you give them the ballpark and they just that's a lot you say hey well come to my workshop i'll teach you how to do it on your own so they yeah. come to the workshop here's what will happen i can pretty much guarantee at the end of the <laughs> workshop 10 percent of them will say thank you wayne god bless you we're going to go do it on our own and 90 percent of them once they realize all that's involved lighting and sound and ducking and cutting with the beat of the music and getting music and where do you get royalty for you or whatever. Yeah, they're going to hire you. Totally. Yeah. People, this is, people are so messed up about this. They think I want to do a video about this soon. The question that so many people tend to think of in their marketing is like, what's the minimum I can give away and get away with? Um, Cause I want people to pay me for my content, for my knowledge. So what's the littlest amount I can give away that will incentivize them you know, and be coy and mysterious, and then they pay me the big money. I want to invert that and consider this question. What's the most you can get away with giving that won't completely fucking overwhelm them? Yeah, give away the most you can in a way that will not just burden them with, you know, too much. Because if, yeah, Wayne gives away his knowledge about it, this does not disincline people to work with him. It's even more because now they realize how complex it is. I give away so much content on niching. And when people call me to book me for a puttering session, which um, they sell out fast. And guess what everybody asks for? Niching. That would seem to be the one thing nobody should ask me about. Well, go watch my videos. But they did watch my videos on niching. They did. That's why they're there. And because people need help with translation. It's like the theory is one thing but you give away all your theory and somebody says, this makes so much sense to me everywhere except in my own life. <laughs> I can see it here. I can see it in your situation. I can see it abstractly, academically, and I can't fucking see it here. So it's um, the more we give away of that kind of context, the more people trust us, the more credible we become and the more they want our help. Because people say, man, I like the way Pad talks about niching. I like the way that Don talks about herbalism. I like the way that Wayne talks about video editing and his style. Oh man, let's hire him. Yeah. Yeah, totally. I totally agree with it. And that's why I love what you're doing because I can see myself just flowing right into this whole thing like that. It's amen. Beautiful. Well, uh, come back another time. Keep us posted on how it goes. Thank you. Awesome.